I haven't been completely forthright with all of you about one particular broodmare in uh, Dewey Inn. Now, I told everybody we were taking the year off with Dewey Inn. I didn't want any more May, June foals. Let's take her, take a year off, breed her in March, get an April, get a uh, February foal. Um, but I got a call last week from Jeff Rock. He said, Anthony, uh, Dewey Ann is in heat. It's their full heat. So when they give birth shortly thereafter, they're back in heat. You can breed them again. Um, I said, you know, Jeff, I don't, I don't want any more May, June foals. They're just going to take the year off. He said, Anthony, if you breed her right now, it's a mid to end April full. Perfect full. I said, really? He said, yes. I said, okay, go ahead and breed her. So we did. We bred her. She was bred back to my MVP. I don't know if she caught yet. I'll know next week. But I wanted to get that off my chest because I know there's a lot of people out there wondering. I got a message from somebody the other day. Full for Dewey Ann looks great. What do we do now? And I've told everybody we're waiting a year. And I wanted to wait a year, but it made sense mathematically to give her one shot. One shot to have a to have uh, an April full. They really should have an emergling. That was a silly thing. Um, they really should have, uh, we really should have given her the one shot, so we did. I don't know if she's in full yet, and if she's not, she is going to miss the year, obviously. But we did breed Dewey Ann back. So, what else do we have? Canadian Titan confirmed in full after 45 days, in full to my, my MVP, right? Yep. Uh, Canadian Titan? My MVP in full to my MVP. Uh, and somebody said the other day, well, my MVP hasn't done a whole lot. He's done plenty for us. Very few we've had that I would say aren't good horses. They haven't raced in Ontario. No, but they were just talking about in general. Oh. In general. I don't think they got the best pick of mares. And uh, quite frankly, every my MVP, I, I, I love the my MVPs. Well, I'm a lovely lady's in my MVP. Who else do we have? Yeah. And all that colt that raced great at two was in my MVP. And Matt's MVP, although he's erratic and annoys me sometimes. He's very fast. So, none of the horses in my recent memory, what was the name of that horse? I loved him at two. He took the big mark, then he heard his suspensory. Oh, yeah, Lima Sun. Lima Sun, I love that horse. He was uh, he was my MVP. So, um, I certainly have no hesitation when we look at, uh, I like Archangel, but a lot of them are correct, and some of them have knee issues. When you're looking at a horse like Canadian Titan, she broke her knee twice. So, maybe shy away as a, as a layman, somebody who doesn't, not a breeder, or might want to shy away from the knee on knee cross. Uh, Capistrano confirmed in full to lather up. That's going to be exciting. I know John and Julie are excited. They're going to come down to Ohio this year and obviously want to go visit um, Capistrano at Sh uh, Sugar Valley Farms and Joe, I'm sure, be more than happy to uh, show them around. Uh, Dewey Ann, as I said, not confirmed in full yet. We did breed her one time to my MVP. That'd be cool. That'd be a full slate. Oh, we have five broodmares. That would be all five in full. Muscle Chrome confirmed in full to Long Tom. And after looking at the Long Toms, Amy, of Tom, Prairie Fire, Slim Jimmy, pretty hard to go wrong with Long Tom. And Muscle Chrome is in full to Long Tom. And then Stolen Dance confirmed in full to so five for five, well, four. What was her full last time that we had? Who? Stolen dance. It was a uh, my MVP. Oh. Uh, but thanks for bringing that up. I just wanted to make oh. sure it wasn't the same. Um, so we have five broodmares, four confirmed in full, and one. Who knows? Maybe, maybe so. So we'll see. Obviously, it'll be exciting this year. Dewey Ann's uh, full will be coming in. I might bring Dewey Ann's full up soon just to put her in the field. I put him in the field up closer to the farm. We'll see. But Jeff has done a great job and a heads up, uh, heads up call by him to getting her bred on her full heat. So super excited about what's going on at the stable. We have this new chapter about to take place. <laughs> new chapter ready to take, ready to take place. No, that's Marcus. That's not a good place. Uh, ready to take place right in front of us with the mares and foals. So, not just the racing to be excited about, but also the breeding side. So, for those of you involved, the brood mares, congratulations. What's that I Walner? also have Walner, yeah, the Walners look great this year, eh? Qualifying. Yeah, I was just telling everybody we have a Donato Hanover mare that I think as highly of as you could think of. In, uh, what, what, do they get the right away here? It seems weird. I guess they do. Um, 
in the path of totality, I think you're going to find she's going to take a super fast mark this year. Like to get some money in her program and be able to put her away with money in a good mark. Maybe bring her to Walner if the Walners continue to extend through their racing season because they certainly looked good yesterday at the Meadows. So that's the broodmare section. Be back with all the stable stuff with the three-year-olds to talk about. I'm back in just a second.